Hi, I'm Linda from Paper Boutique with Linda.com. Today I want to show you some elegant and simple layered card backgrounds. Now I'd hoped to have this video filmed before Christmas, but I still want to film it because I really want to focus on these beautiful backgrounds. You can decorate them for any occasion or any season. White on white is so trendy and a number of bloggers have featured cards with that look and I fell in love with the concept. I made my cards today with my Cameo and Cricut Explore Air Machines, but you could also use cutting dies to get this look and you can use different color paper. First of all, I wanna show you the Lizzie Main Retro, let me get that so you can get a really good close up of it. It's beautiful. It's called the Retro Rounded Corner Pattern and I'll have this all linked below, so don't worry about taking notes. The first layer of this card is four and three quarters by five and a half, this layer right here. The second layer measures four and a half by five and three quarters, and this finish card measures five by six and a quarter inches. And what I did is I just added some dimension in between it. So this, this layer is just, this background here is just really one layer. I'm going to show you some more later on that are three layers that are wonderful. Just in case you wonder for next Christmas, the tag is from Anna Griffin, Terrific Tags and Cutting Dies. The stickers and sentiments are from my stash. And as I mentioned throughout this video, I've used a lot of dimensional squares. Let me bring in another one and show you. Now, once again, this is from Lizzie Main, and this is the rounded corner pattern. And here I just did two, let me bring that up. I wanna make sure you can really see it. Here I just did two layers. This first layer is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I used a dimensionals to attach it to a card that measures four and three quarters by six, but you can customize this. The tag once again is from Anna Griffin, terrific tags and cutting dies. And the sticker and bow is from my stash. Next, I wanna show you, I am so excited about this. Lori Whitlock, you have to check it out, has designed 12, I'm gonna bring this up a little higher. She has designed 12 different A2 um, stacking cards. And this one is the A2 stacking card circles. And there's actually three, three layers to this card. And I love it. You can, um, this I got at the Silhouette online store, but you can also visit her website, lauriewhitlock.com, and you can purchase the SVG version of this, then you can use your Cricut. Like I said, she's done 12 different ones. Well, let me bring in one, that, um, another one she designed. And this one, thank goodness, isn't for Christmas. I did it for birthdays. This one is probably my favorite. Isn't it gorgeous? It is called the A2 Stacking Card Base Burst. And the stamp here, I'm gonna move this around. The stamp that I've used here is from Anna Griffin Chalkboard Sentiment Stamp Set that I purchased on HSN. Well, let me show you how these actually come um, when you get the cutting files. It comes in three, there's three different layers. And I love this. And then this is just my card base. But what I really wanna share with you is my secret weapon. It is, when you use, when I glue, I use this two-way glue pen from Zig. And I don't know about you, but when I'm putting glue all over the back of this, by the time I get to the bottom, my glue is dry. So what I do is this is two way. I let it dry and then I just do one, like I'll do one layer at a time, let it dry. I usually put it under some heavy books and then I do another layer, let it dry. And then I did the third layer. And this one is the A2, hold on, let me get this even for you. This is the A2 Quadrifoil, and I think it's gonna be one of my favorites. The fun thing about this is, look at this. You can just use this. You can just use one of the backgrounds. Isn't that gorgeous? Or if you want a little bit more dimension, I'm showing you it on teal. You can do any color that you want. Here's two, which I think is just absolutely beautiful. Or you can use all three and on the cards let me show you with all three i'll bring it up a little bit 
there you go. And on the cards I made, like this particular card and this card, I used all, I'm gonna bring it way up. It might get a little dark, but I really want you to see it. it um, I used all three layers. I love these from, from Lori Whitlock. I think that they are just amazing. Let me bring in another one and show you. Well, I would like to thank you for watching and please visit my blog at www.paperboutiquewithlinda.com for more projects and ideas. Bye-bye.